Ahoy there and welcome back to Building the Boys now issue 111 of How Shirts Build the Titanic. Uh, in this one we fit in our final piece of keel section which pretty much completes the hull. We do still have some trim and some of the bits to add to it but the hull is pretty much complete with this one. Um, even though there's a lot of screws to put in, it's just screws. So the work is light as it always is with hull work. But um, this is exciting. This is this is sealed and ready to set sail at that point. So uh, I'm I'm happy about that. I really am. Um, <coughs> if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. Helps channel massively. At the end of this one, after building instructions, we'll be talking about fathers of the Titanic. Um, fathers never met their kids. Sad, but it's true. Um, so we'll be talking all about that one at the end. Uh, but without further ado, let's get this one open. Let's get this one built because I'm very excited to get this one done. Okay, so this is what comes in 111. I built the Titanic. Let's take a look. Uh, what have we got? We've got some screws, more screws, and our whole piece. So, let's see what we're dealing with here. And there it is. So that is our final piece of keel. Um, all metal. Now, whilst we're on that subject, there's a big complaint about a plastic keel section. I don't know if you've got no sensation in your fingers, um, but there is no plastic keel section. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a section that has a plastic inner in it that we can attach the engine to, but it's not plastic. I mean, tap it, stick a magnet to it. I promise you there's, there's no plastic keel section. That large section of keel that we had is 100% metal. It's just got plastic inner. But this is the last piece. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to install this to the model and we're going to be holding this in with a lot. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen screws, I think. I don't know. We've got we've got a lot of these to put in. Are these both the same? So that's what we've got. FM and PM. FM and PM. Is that right? FM and PM? I know it's PM and PM, but it's two sets of screws, same screws, so I don't know. Right, let's bring the model up, let's get this fit, let's get this put in. Okay, so this is the section I'm working with. I've got to try and get my uh, my whole pin, my keel piece in there. So you can slide over from the bottom, I hope so. Try and do this without obscuring your view at the same time. Might have to, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this put in, and then we'll film these screws going in. So there's our keel piece in. We need to screw this in place. Now ask us to start with three screws here. So we'll start with this first one. Oop. One. I'm so happy to be finishing this, but sad at the same time, because it, it feels like it's coming to an end now, and I will miss it ever so much once it's done. It's two. And now a third one. into this one here. Nice and tight, right. So that's those three in. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna get those put in and we'll take a look. So that is all 13 screws put in. Uh, so we've got five along this side, five along this side, three along here, um, all held in. Tough work, that. I mean, it's easy work, but it's tough work uh, having to get all those in. But it's done now. I'm going to flip it over. We can take a look at what this looks like from the underneath. So there she is on her side, and you can see how... Well, if it looks, this piece here, not plastic, people. Not plastic. This is metal. Um, it's all metal. And it's looking lovely. Really nice. Smooth that is, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous thing. Let's have a chat. Is that one done? And that is how that is now looking. So we have 
the entire <laughs> Try get all this in. We have the entire keel in place. Look at that. Look at that. Look at her. Look at our beautiful girl. It's uh it's looking lovely. It's looking really nice. I've got to put this down. <laughs> I've seriously got to put this down. Um but yeah, it's looking lovely. It's looking really nice. Let me put this somewhere safe. It's looking really nice. I'm, I'm enamored with this. So our hull is pretty much complete at this point. Um, we do naturally, there's still trim and there's a, there's a large piece on the back in the next one. But um, that makes me happy. It's been a long time coming. That's over two years working on that. So it's, uh, it's nice to see that it's all gonna start coming together now. It's beautiful. Um, <coughs> that is all for this one. So if you're just sticking around for build instructions, thank you for stopping by. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. If you're sticking around for our Titanic chat, we're talking about Fathers of the Titanic, posthumous Fathers of the Titanic. So there were a number of pregnant women on board that um, thankfully, not all, but most, um, did survive, but not their husbands. Most famously of those was uh, John Jacob Astor, who we haven't spoken about yet, but we're going to next month. Um, his... Uh, wife at the time was pregnant he made sure that she got to a lifeboat and that uh, his baby was born after his demise that sadly wasn't the case for um, a lot of people who just had partners back at home and these were people that worked on the ship and people that were traveling for business or whatever um, that were waiting for their husbands to return their their partners to return and never did and there were 57 in total so 57 babies born to fathers who died on the night of uh, April 14th, 1912. It's heartbreaking. It's 57 children that never met their fathers. It's bad. Um, now, so what happened to those kids? Well, fortunately, most of them, and you can read the stories that most of them, it, everything was everything was okay. You know, they had good lives. They were taken care of and everything was okay. But it wasn't the case for all of them. Um, White Star Lion had a very archaic views. This did a lot of people at the time where... If you weren't married, didn't count. So, uh, musician um, on board the Titanic, his fiance was pregnant at the time, and they said, mm, "No, that's not your next of kin. Well, like, it's, you weren't married, doesn't count." So nothing. There was no compensation for her or money for the the child, and they were left destitute. Uh, White Star Line for you, ladies and gentlemen. The, the scummy practices were were next level. Um, there's all kinds of stories of them sending uh, a bill for the uniform to to the family of some of the people that died on board. <laughs> it's like, wow, what are they supposed to do? What, take their uniform off and hand it to you before they died? Um, but that was one of the things they did. If you weren't married, didn't count. And there were cases where they, even when they was married, they, they were ones that were implying that the baby was, was not that of their employees. And it's like, that's shocking. When you know someone just lost their, lost their life on board your ship for mistakes that you made, because let's let's be honest, White Star Line are at fault here. They are. They own it. They're at fault. Titanic could have been avoided. We all know that. This wasn't some freak occurrence. Everything that happened on the Titanic could have been avoided. It could have. Um, so it's White Star Line who are at fault ultimately, um, and should have taken care of all of those people, but they didn't. We'll talk about that more in depth. Um, later on in the build, because I, I really do want to go into White Star Line. It's one of those things, I'm, I'm funny with it, where uh, it, I'm like, I've got a White Star Line um, sign on my wall and things like that, whereas I don't want anyone to think that I think White Star Line are great, because I don't. I think they were absolute scumbags uh, based on what they did uh, with Titanic and for the survivors and employees and whatnot. I think White Star Line is, is one of the epitomes of what was wrong with working practices post World War Two, um, uh, sorry, pre World War Two. So it's um, yeah, I it's weird. White Star Line and White Star Line. I'm like, yeah, no, sort of, you know, F White Star Line. They they really weren't a decent company. They were a bad company, a poor company, and they did some very very scummy things that they should never be forgiven for. Um, and the the posthumous children uh, for fathers should have been honoured. They should have just said, okay, we've We've pretty much created a life, not only where financially you're going to have problems, but also this child's got no father figure, you know, and that's kind of, that's on us. That's our bad. The least we can do is make life as comfortable as possible for you. But they didn't. And that's scummy. 
but yeah, 57, 57 in total. And they spanned the board, so it wasn't just um, it wasn't just third class, which a lot of the time he gets. So, I mean, again, the richest man in the world uh, was a posthumous father. So it was it was everybody from the very top to the very bottom, and it's it's sad, but um, but it happened. Uh, there were more babies than that. So if you take the pregnant women on board, it'd be there were 18 pregnant women on board. So in total, there was about 70, I think it was 72 babies born um, to survivors and victims of the Titanic that were pregnant at the time of the sinking, which is remarkable, really. Um, but yeah, it's it's just sad. It's always, it's always a very sad story to hear. But I mean, that is the human element of the Titanic, which again, when we talk about... In the last one, people wanted to go and pick the the wreck site, or the graveyard is what it actually is. Um, it's why I think it's important to remember these people and to tell their stories. I mean, we've done, what, 111 stories of the Titanic now. Um, and um, I hope it keeps the memory of some of those people alive and some of the things that happen. I mean, sometimes it's not always people, but I hope it keeps the memory of those people alive. Because we're starting to look like ancient history now, aren't we? When it's 112 years ago today. 112 years. That That's that's a lot, you know? And before we know it, it'll be 120, 130, 150, and it'll, it'll become very ancient history. It's crazy, but it's the way it is. But I hope these stories, if you tune in to listen to them, I hope these stories do keep that memory alive a little bit because someone's not truly dead until everyone forgets them, you know? So as long as we can keep talking about it and keep them alive... And it's not just the ship, it's the people that were on board and the lives that it affected are also so key to this story as well. That's all from me. Um, in a world where you can do anything at all, just be nice. Uh, you can contact us at buildwiththeboys.outlet.com. Um, we'll be back very soon with issue 112 to finish up the month. Until then, take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.